Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be looking at more prayers of the faith, and this time, a prayer to St. Thomas Aquinas. St. Thomas Aquinas is considered one of, if not the greatest theologian in the history of the Catholic Church. He successfully developed a theological method, Thomism, which combined both the teachings of the saints and the Catholic Church's doctrines with the best reasoning put forth by the finest philosophers of both Christian and non-Christian origin. His explanations of the different choirs of angels have led to him being called the angelic doctor of the Church and his masterpiece, the Summa Theologica, rescued me personally from more than a ten years stretch of agnosticism, so I feel a special attachment to him in particular. Today, we'll be looking at a prayer specifically to St. Thomas Aquinas. O angelic doctor St. Thomas, prince of theologians and model of philosophers. St. Thomas holds a high place among theologians because of his accomplishments, and represents the kind of person who philosophers should strive to be like bright ornament of the Christian world and light of the church. The words of St. Thomas assisted in our understanding of Jesus, the Trinity, the angels, and so on, helping to increase our ability to see the beauty of these things, which may be what is meant by ornament. However, it could mean literally that St. Thomas and his accomplishments were themselves beautiful things with which Christianity was decorated. Light of the church refers to the way that St. Thomas helped to shed light on so many matters of Christian faith. O heavenly patron of all Catholic schools. St. Thomas Aquinas is the patron saint of academics, booksellers, colleges, universities, philosophers, publishers, students, theologians, and yes, Catholic schools. Who didst learn wisdom without guile and dost communicate it without envy. Guile is deceitful cunning. This part, therefore, means that St. Thomas learned great wisdom with honesty and willingly passed it on to others, but not out of some desire to outdo his rivals. Intercede for us with the Son of God, wisdom itself. Prayers for the saints to intercede for us with God are normal. This part also confirms that Jesus is wisdom. That the spirit of wisdom may descend upon us and enable us to understand clearly that which thou hast taught. This portion is a prayer to be able to understand the teachings of Thomism through a special blessing of wisdom from God. And fulfill it by imitating thy deeds. May we also learn the truth honestly, and pass it on without trying to use it to merely gain points over others. To become partakers of that doctrine and virtue which caused thee to shine like the sun on earth. Catholic doctrine and the virtues were major points in the Summa Theologica. This part of the prayer asks for us to be allowed to benefit from that, also acknowledging that St. Thomas shone like the sun, meaning that not only did he clarify the truth, but that clarification spread far and wide across the world and at last to rejoice with thee forever in their most sweet fruits in heaven. As wonderful as it is to know the truths of the faith, the ultimate goal of these truths is to guide us to eternal happiness with God, the sweetest of all outcomes. Together praising the divine wisdom for all eternity. Amen. Those in heaven know and revere the wisdom of God instead of rejecting it or being imperfectly aware of it as we are in this life. So, this is a prayer for wisdom and guidance along the path of honesty, truth, and learning, so that we can be brought to heaven one day. Next time, a prayer to St. Anthony. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.